this school on Monday the 2nd of May 2022. <clears throat> Today went well. Um, like I was pretty good at everything. Bar uh, the parking. And... But there, there was this bit where I had to climb from a junction. And it's in the middle of a like foresty area. And the instructor said, you can look through the trees to see if anyone's coming. So I did. And it was clear. And just as I was about to come out, a car speeds right, right ahead of us. And luckily the, the instructor was quick enough to slam the brakes on. It was had a mini heart attack. Anyway, Minority Report the show, Mixed Ratings, Fox Original Series, Nick Zeno, Wilmer Valderrama, I didn't like it, and it is not based, because people were, some characters were like, oh I wish we were, we were back in the time when the precogs were still a thing. No, they were evil. Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. Universally negative ratings. Kaya Scudelario. I don't... Scudelario. Yeah. Robbie Amell, Tom Hopper, or Hooper, whatever. Donald Luke, Neil McDonough. It's good. However, the casting in this movie is terrible. There's not a single person that was casted correctly. I understand why they got Robbie and Kaya for Chris and Claire. But they actually weren't really good. Uh, although Robbie did know what he was doing. So it, it just fell short of his ability, I guess. Because he is a fan of the games. Um, and the, there's just some really dumb things in the movie. Like it, at the end, when Leon uh, gets a, a rocket launcher, uh, the fire at, at Bergen, and Chris is right next to Bergen. Leon basically just look, goes like, Hey, Doc, I'm going to fire this rocket launcher. And Chris just like, you know, he basically just covers his eyes when the rocket launcher explodes right next to the man. Nothing happens to him whatsoever. And he just covered his eyes. He didn't move or anything. Uh, the liquor looks better in this than it did in the original movie. But it's too CGI y. Um, like, it. Like, if you remember during one of the nostalgia videos, uh, when we were doing nostalgia critics talking about Jurassic Park and how he said that the. The dinosaur looked like mist or something like that. The same goes here. Justice, the movie, universally negative ratings. Justin Hartley, Gillian Jacobs, Laura Bailey, Yurin Golenfall. It's good. But, uh,. The guy doing the voice for Joker is terrible. Uh, I, I, there might have been some other things to say, but I, I don't remember. Final review, MacGyver. I'm not going to call this MacGyver 2016 because I do not watch drama television from before this century. Because most of it is, is crap. The only dramas from... Before this century that I that I like are Oz and the UK House of Cards. Anyway, back to MacGyver. It's great. I I, I love it. It 
<clears throat> it reminds me of Scorpion. Um, but it's one genius instead of multiple gen geniuses. I don't have much else to say because it's just a it's your typical procedural show. This means as of 6 to 6 p.m. For real though, can anybody explain the difference between romantic and platonic friendship for someone who is newer? In a romantic real in a romantic relationship. You speak Latin and your empire falls. And in Platonic relationships, you speak Greek and think about caves. I feel like there's going to be people who think that I... I don't know how to pronounce Platonic and Romantic. I pronounce it, it like Romantic and Platonic. Because Romans, as in Rome. And Plato, as in Greek mythology. Or, sorry, not mythology, Greek philosophy. Yo, friend, let's make a funny video where I pretend that you have my car all drive slow. And but again, here is Johnson kicks to earth to goal, and oh my god, Singh makes a fantastic save. But I believe he hit his nuts on the goalpost. He is down. Let us have a closer look at instant replay. Not only just self-sacrifice on this play, but sacrificing future generations as well. Obviously going all out for his team, saving the ball right here, but also losing two on the play, putting his balls on the line. Let us have a moment of silence for this man's fallen brothers. As you see right here, he got to the ball and so did... I cannot play that. Um, it's Ben Shapiro when he was saying the lyrics to Wap I think over a uh, fireball by Pitbull. Overwatch Street Beta is out today. This next one, I wanted to show it, but I know that usually if there's one thing, I'll, when it comes to slides, if there's one thing I want to show, I'll, I'll save the entire thing, show the entire thing. But this time, I, d I decided no, because I was going to put it in the last meme segment, and then I just said it all to. But for this, I will eventually decide it. Yeah, I'm going to show it anyway. Hi there. My name's Charmander, and I recently learned a new trick. <laughs> uh, well, I can turn myself into a wolf. <sighs> can I show you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, bear with me here. Or should I say, whoop with me here? <laughs> okay, one second. Hi there. This meme is only for Elden Ring players because they'll think, look at this cutscene and go, oh yeah, this that thing. Uh, because you can't you can't read the subtitles too small. And, I'll, and the person that's uploaded this has put on copyrighted music because they can use copyrighted music and I can't. White people in public when someone yells the N-word, but they didn't see who it was.
Okay, this isn't a meme, it's just like, I'm guessing it's a trailer for Uncharted. I wonder what the man on stage is thinking. Why is, why is this particular group of people cheering? This Twitter as of 1 to 6 p.m. Usually when you order something online, it's a lot smaller than the picture. Got a new portable water bottle that takes up half my backpack. That looks pretty small in the photo if it weren't for your hand. Banning is not anti-free speech. Oh, sure it isn't. You're still free to say whatever you want. You just don't have a right to say it on Twitter. That's like a restaurant not accepting you because you don't follow the dress code. Say a company owned eighty percent of all restaurants and banned all left wingers. You'd be fine with that. Would I personally be okay with it? No, but I do know that political ideology is not a protected class, and private business and businesses can cater to the clientele they want legally. <coughs> I would assume the free market would take care of the rest, which is a good thing. No. Or no. Which is a good thing. No. Social media doesn't have a free market. It's heavily regulated and monopolized. Well done. You've discovered the problem. One could argue that heavy regulation led to a billion billionaire purchasing it on order to make changes which some consider freer. The market correcting itself. Free speech and context. One I never went away. You don't have a constitutional right to be on social media. I don't necessarily agree with it, but them's the facts. All this over-regulation is swinging the pendulum the other way now, which is a good thing. We'll see what happens. Heavy regulation and monopolization led to that being the only option out of what was happening. With a free market, competitors would be able to rise on and it. With a regulated market within a monopoly, the bigger deck is the only thing that can fix it. As for one eye, which is a tool, sorry, when a tool becomes the primary communication point for 80% of the English speaking world, especially when everyone was locked down for two years, that makes things extremely diff different to a restaurant down the road. Come on, man, I just want to feed your game a little. I just want to talk. I promise. After I buy Twitter, I'm banning anyone who plays 40k with an unpaid army. Bye, Mark. I've been saying this for about a year, but I'll get around to it one day, I promise. Maybe. Well, I mean, your baby is about a year old, so... You know, you have been busy. Making tweets. Now, Femboy Blacksmithing is posting this. Right? I'm not a boy or a girl, where do I pee? Margaret Thatcher's grave. The answer. Okay, we are finally making some headway here. Corn is simply better on the cob. It's better when it's popped. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not reading all that. Weird, why would he do such a thing? I was just literally just looking at Terminator and I didn't notice that uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is the last game that they're going to make. Or at least maybe in that timeline. <clears throat> I just thought that they hadn't done it in a while because Corona. Because it, it was like a three year difference between every game. So Tomb Raider 4 should have came out last year but Corona has to say it. Is 
They keep on shifting around who owns Tomb Raider, Jesus. I'm I'm hoping that they make a new one. And even if it's not even if it's not the survivor timeline, which is what 2013 Rise and Shadow are part of. I I'll still play it. 